you know what happens when you don't press record? The camera doesn't record. <laughs> so I've just done the whole intro for this soap. <laughs> and I have press record. It's been so long since I've made normal soap. I actually have to look at my recipe. It's the same recipe I've been using for years. And I had to find it so I could figure out what friggin' oils I needed. Oh my god. Like I knew what oils. Just didn't anyway, it doesn't matter. So today, again, I'm going to do this all over again. We're doing licorice all sorts. I have my normal recipe, just the one that I always use. I've divided it up into five equal portions. These have all the oils and the goat's milk, but no lye. And obviously no colour yet. And I'm going to do pink, black, yellow, black, green. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to colour these now because once the lye goes into them, you know, I just want to just be able to pour them straight into the mould and not fuss with them. I don't know how the fragrance is going to react. Um, so if it goes thick, again, doesn't matter. I can just pour it straight into the mould. So what we're going to do is we're going to start colouring. So I'm going to do the yellow first because it's the lightest. Um, a spoon would be handy. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I have Halloween soaps to make, and it's so ridiculous that I have to just keep putting it off. Um, the yellow is not, like, overly bright in this, so... I think what I might do, while I'm just standing here, I might put all of the colours in. Um, that's Tuscan Sun. I'd use Wellington, but I actually don't have any, and I didn't want to use lemon sherbet because it would freak me out, like it always does. Uh, the green is lime spider, of course, because lime spider, because it's the nicest green on the planet, if you ask me. The nicest green green, I'm not generally a fan of this sort of green. I like grey greens, but for a, for a real, like, vibrant green green, you can't go past this stuff, so. And then, I need something to wipe off my spoon paper towel would be good for that. My apron probably would be good for that too. Um, I don't have a pink that I like. Like I want this, I want this pink, but I don't really have that pink. Actually blush is probably going to be, you know what, I think we're just going to just go with the blush. We may have to we may have to put a bit of TD in all of these, we'll see. But I did have out Cerise Bubblegum Bliss, but I think we'll just go with the blush and see. I'll put those over there. I also have this one. This is one of the eBay ones. Well, some of them are not that bad, eh? Honestly. Aye. God, that's so Australian, isn't it? <laughs> it's so Australian. Oh, dear. All right, let's give these a little whiz and we'll see what colours happens. Yeah, clearly these need titanium dioxide because they're way too bright. I did my first Christmas sprinkle testers yesterday. They are so cute. I just popped them out before and they are, they're perfect. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh dear. See, the problem with this is that um, because there's no lie in these, I'm not going to be able to tell if that titanium has done anything. Actually, there's no really no point. There's really not, is there? All right, I'm going to clean this off. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Thank you so much. <laughs> the bit of music that Chloe Rose uses on her channel, it annoys me because every time I watch one of her videos, I'm just humming it. And it's annoying because, like, so many YouTubers use it. <laughs> I had to move these somewhere way out of the way. Um, actually, we won't move that one because we're going to do a pink layer first. I can add some more um, titanium into it if I feel I need to. Get this why is it orange over here you can't see that or you can kind of yeah you probably i don't know if you can see it doesn't really matter if you can i guess <sighs> these as you can see these are setting up but what it is is just because it's not like super hot so they're just going back to their their frozen state not frozen oh my god 
No, apparently I can't talk. Words are hard. Well, I'm going to have to buy one of Evan and Caitlin's shirts because words are hard. All right, so I'm going to go and put the lie and I'll just put the lie in for now and we'll see what happens. Um, it should be fine. It's just, I mean, it's just soap butter. There's no fragrance in it. And then we'll, I'll just do stuff. Right on? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm very adept at putting small amounts of lime things now, making sprinkles, because I only um, do 200 grams at a time because it sets up and you just it, it's too hard to force it into the sprinkle sheets. So yeah. I've got my hair up in a ponytail, so it was out of the way. And I'm sure I can feel hair on the back of me. <laughs> There's hair on the back of me. I hate my hair. It drives me nuts. I don't like my hair long. It touches me. <laughs> it's so funny. You just don't touch me. Oh dear. Well, hey, yes, I have gloves on. I have no fingernails. Well, I mean, I have fingernails. I don't have fake fingernails, so I have chewed so badly. Because we're in lockdown, I can get my nails done, obviously. And, um, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I told her I was going to try not to chew them all. I mean, that's the longest fingernail I currently have. <laughs> the rest of them are just like, oh, they look like, they look like boys' fingernails. Which is, I suppose, is probably sexist, but I don't really care because, I mean, as a general rule, you see boys have really bitten fingernails. So, you know. Alright, that's come up really nicely. Now I'm going to give it a whiz because I want to see if the titanium goes any lighter than that because I feel like that's not the right colour pink. No, it's definitely not. Let's put a bit more in there and give it another little whiz. It's still not right. I'm really worried I'm going to end up with glycerin ribbons. R ribbons? Glycerin. So we just, if we just call them ribbons, that'll be the new the new um, portman do for glycerin ribbons. Ribbons. I'd said it again. <laughs> That's it. Ribbons. Righto. Glycerin rivers. Wow. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a portman do is, it's uh, exactly what I just did. Is basically combining two words to make a new one. Uh, uh, one of the guys, uh, one of the Japanese actors that I quite like, uh, oh, uh, Jun Matsumoto, with, he gets called Matsu Jun. So, and that that's, you know, or, um, I don't really know. Like if you, if you, if you, uh, uh, you ship two characters and you and you put their names together that's a portmandu i'm pretty sure it's portmandu i'm pretty sure that's the word and see now i'm doubting myself <laughs> this is lovely and fluid so i'm gonna go and put the fragrance in it and we'll see what happens okay so i'm not entirely sure that i like what i've done with this fragrance <laughs> i thought i'd be sneaky i have this um uh what's it called uh, brown sugar and vanilla from Ilux. Now apparently it has no vanilla in it, which I can't imagine. So it's probably going to discolour, although it says it has no vanilla in it, so I'm going to pretend it's not going to discolour. And I've also added some um, anise China Star Essential Oil. So it's got... Yeah, I definitely smell like licorice. Ugh. I'm not a fan of licorice. as it, Like, I don't eat it at all. Um, I don't mind the smell of it though, I guess. This just doesn't smell like licorice. Like, not 100% like licorice. So, I'm just making this thicker so that it... Wow, Jesus Christ. It's behaving really well. So the brown sugar and vanilla from Ilux is, is good. It doesn't seem to thicken trace. Okay, yeah, that's just... Well, this soap's going to take me a while to make because that's not thickening up at all. Wow, righto. It's definitely got that, that aniseed kind of smell, so it's reminiscent 
of licorice. <laughs> Put it that way. It's reminiscent. It's not an exact copy, but I figured I probably wouldn't be able to get a licorice fragrance that didn't have vanilla in it, so I didn't even bother looking. Um, I just figured I'd make something myself, and I, and I thought with the brown brown sugar and vanilla is a nice smell. It actually is. It's a really nice fragrance, actually. Um, and if I just put some of the anise in there, then that would work. So that's what I did, as I've just told you. But I had to over-explain things because that's what I do. <laughs> People always say, oh, you must love the sound of your own voice you talk so much. But, you know, in all honesty, no, I do not. I just like talking. That's what it is. Okay. That's, I mean, it's sort of thick. Uh, uh, I really want you, all of you to say it with me. One, two, three. Like my ass. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So we're going to leave that. And now we're going to do the black. The black is easy. All right. I'm going to actually turn this camera off. And I'll come back when I've got the lye and everything in this. And we'll go from there. Okie dokie. So I've put the the lye in, I've put the activated charcoal and I've put the fragrance oil in so I'm just going to mix it all up in, in one go. I literally didn't see the point in stuffing around with mica or anything when activated charcoal is just perfectly black so if you use enough of it. <laughs> yeah, actually you don't even really need to use that much of it. Now I don't know if it's because if it's, it's black <laughs> and it's just tricking me but this seems more licorice in smell. It's probably a visual thing. Although in all honesty, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's on a little faster than, than normal too because I'm impatient with the soap sprinkles and mix them faster. Because <laughs> I just like, like getting it over and done with. Um, licorice always, I always think of red when I think of licorice anyway because of the, the red uh, licorice twisters thingies. My mum used to eat them and she loved licorice. She was a, she would love Daryl Lee, anything from Daryl Lee like Rockley Road and all that sort of stuff. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't like coconut in things. Coconut, I just don't like coconut at all. The smell of, oh, see, yeah, that coconut reef oil was like the best smell ever. But I don't like coconut oil, especially don't like it on my skin. It feels disgusting. Don't like it in soap. And <laughs> don't like bits of it in food. Yeah, not a, fan of, not a fan of coconut. There you go. So I'm just pouring this on my spatula just to try and help it not break through that layer. I mean, it looks pretty solid anyway. But, you know, I mean, it doesn't hurt to do this. Like, seriously, what, what could it possibly hurt to just be a little bit more careful sometimes? She says, the person who, who is never careful with anything. <sighs> but so far, I think I've, you know, this, unless it plays up really weirdly with the green or the yellow, I think I've done pretty well with this fragrance for this soap. Although, I mean, in all honesty, you can soak with nearly any fragrance if you're going to do a layered soap, <laughs> especially if you do it this way, like the correct way. I'm just going to just... Being so fluid, it's so easy to just get it to go down where it needs to go. There we go. All right. Clean the spatula and everything else. Which you don't really... Oh my god, it's <laughs> black. you got to love it, don't you? It's just so disgusting. Oh dear. Nearly bought a TV before. There's a 55 centimeter TV. So I don't have a TV, for those of you that don't know. I haven't had a TV for oh, a couple of years now. I just... I never used it. Now, however, I have to... Unfortunately, I have to sit with my legs up more often um, so I've been thinking about buying a TV and I found one on 
uh, marketplace, Facebook marketplace. Uh, it was a 55 centimeter. It comes with like a Panasonic sound system and whatnot. Uh, middle one is yellow. No, that's solid. <laughs> it's just <laughs> there's, that I won't tip it all the way up because I'm guaranteed it'll just go plop on the bench. Um, yeah, for three hundred fifty dollars, I was like, oh, that's a really, really good price. And then I just didn't buy it. It'll be gone by the time I go back upstairs. Just, I, I know it's probably just going to be a waste of money if I buy a telly because I'll say I'm going to sit and watch it, but I probably never will. To hate sitting in bed. I mean, Curtis has, a, Curtis has a TV out in the lounge room, so it's not like I can't watch his TV if I wanted to, but it's little and I can't see it. <laughs> Alright, I'm only going to do exactly the same thing I did with the black, and I'll come back and we'll pour that in. Okay, so if you're a if you're newbie soaper, and your hard oils and your soft oils go back to this state again, which is like they would be in the fridge, or just normally, because I've got tallow and palm in here, um, and coconut oil, uh, try not to let it get back to this stage but if it does you can still soap like that like I soap like this all the time if you've watched this channel long enough you've seen me do this numerous times and my soaps are always fine um, that yeah that that anise has definitely overtaken every other smell in this soap see as you can see and I just mixed it really carefully so I didn't splash the lye all I'm doing is just mixing it and as soon as it's as soon as the lye starts to mix in with the oils, it starts to heat, so it melts them back down again. So don't freak out if that happens. You can still soap. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for the sniffing. It's <laughs> spring. What the hell is that? Probably a bit of the last bit of soap. So probably was on the thing. Yeah, spring always gets me. I've actually started my pack of Sudafeds can't breathe. I have, what do I have? Enlarged turbinates or some shit, I don't know. Something wrong with my nose, with my sniffer. That's something wrong with me sniffer. Yeah, look at that. Oh no, it's still a bit loose. Alright, so this has um, titanium dioxide in, so I'm going to give it a whiz. I would anyway, just to make sure that the fragrance is all incorporated, but especially because there is TD in there and I may need to just make this even a bit lighter. Hmm. You know what? I probably according to the to the picture reference, the yellow is lighter, but I really like this really bright yellow, so I'm just gonna take some artistic liberties here and just keep it because I like it. And you can do that. You can make your soap however you want. Unless you're making it for a customer that you've promised a particular way, and then you probably shouldn't you should probably do what you said. Otherwise, take artistic license. I have found that anything that doesn't allow me artistic license or creative space, I guess, whatever word you want to use, uh, they're all the same words for, oh no, hang on. <laughs> My Christmas sprinkles nearly fell on the floor. I will show you in a minute because I can't help it because they're just so friggin' cute. Although I shouldn't considering there's somebody that's already copying my shit anyway. Whatever. This I was trying to explain to Dad yesterday. It's it's petty of me, but I feel like I mean I I understand that someone else wants to sell sprinkles as a business. That's fine, you know. I mean people were selling sprinkles, not shaped sprinkles, but like the long thin ones, but long before this. But you know he's selling the ones that I designed and basically invented it, it, you know just even just like a, a shout out would have been nice you know just I don't know I don't know I don't want to be famous I just like you know just would like recognition for shit that I designed I don't know it's, it's probably petty don't know probably isn't I probably don't care <laughs> I'm just gonna stop now Oh, all right, again, I'm going to pour on the spatula just because that black layer is not quite as set up as the pink one was. And again, we just want to make these as straight as possible because licorice all sorts are straight. Let me just, although I mean all the shit on the bench there doesn't really matter. 
<sighs> Oops. <laughs> that might not be straight, that bit there. So this fragrance looks like it is setting up a little bit, but not badly. Like, it seems to be pretty good. I think you could probably do drop swirls or whatever. I also don't know what it would like without, although in all honesty, I put probably about six drops of that friggin' anise essential oil in there. <laughs> it really was like just a couple of drops. But I'll just smell that before I add any more. Thank God I did, because it's really just that's all you can smell. I'm hoping it'll calm it down. <laughs> just hope it does calm down. Oh dear. Oh, I'm itching to do some colouring. I mean, I've done a little bit. Not, not, I haven't filmed it or anything. But uh, yeah, someone suggested doing it as a live, which I think is a bloody great idea. So I had a really good time the last time I did a live, and it was really nice talking to you guys. Um, like, and getting that sort of immediate feedback and being able to, like, respond to you immediately. I really enjoyed that. So, excuse me. We may do that as a live. See how we go. Now, you have, you've been warned. I'm not an artist. I think I've said this before. I'm a bullshit artist. But I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. I know basics about shading and shit. And I did take art classes when I was like 12. <laughs> so I thought I would just film this bit and show you. I'm actually adding quite a good amount of um, activate. Oh, Jesus Christ. Activated charcoal into this to make it like proper black. But I swear to God, do you know how hard it was to get this open? Have a go at this ridiculousness. These, it just, they just bend. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm just going to just put it to the side and hope I don't spill it. All right, again, I'm going to go do the same thing. I'm going to go put the light and the fragrance in here and I'll be back. So that was the other thing I wanted to say to, to newbies who soap don't be afraid see again I'm just being really really careful not splashing the lie just just being chill <laughs> it's not gonna do anything I don't need to be in a rush um, yeah don't don't be afraid to experiment I don't understand why people are afraid of things it's soap the worst that can go wrong is it doesn't turn into soap <laughs> and you have to throw it in the bin like if you're worried about costs, fair enough, I understand. But I mean, if you're worried that it's that it's gonna, it's not gonna explode. You're not gonna cause a nuclear reaction. It's good. Um, it's not gonna give you brain cancer or anything like that. It's just soap, guys. So just don't be afraid. Just just have fun. Experimenting is fun. If something goes wrong, all all that's happened is you have learnt a lesson about what not to do next time. It's not a failure. It's a lesson. I say this so much, don't I? <laughs> it's how I live. I, I cannot tell you the amount of times I have failed at things. Like every time, pretty much. Every time I try something new, I'm shit at it. Until I fail, learn what, I, what works and what doesn't work. And then I, it works. And then you just go <laughs> and do that thing. It's how I manage soaping and I'm doing alright so far. <laughs> I think I make pretty good soap to be honest really I do I'm quite proud of my soaps and and I don't care what anyone else says so <laughs> you're allowed to be proud of your own things it's hard sometimes As someone was talking about imposter syndrome who was that oh Tash that's right if you're watching Tash, which I doubt because she hasn't got time, but hey Tash. Um, and I totally understand that. Like, I get that imposter syndrome where you just don't feel like what you do is is good enough and that, that you're just pretending to be good and, you know, talented and, and, and capable of these things. <laughs> it's kind of silly. 
but yeah, I guess a lot of people feel like that. Look at that, how beautifully has that mixed up. Now I am going to give this a stick blend purely because it is, let's see if I can, oh it doesn't matter if it drips on there I guess, I don't know if you can actually see that, see this here, you can see that there's some unmixed um, activated charcoal, it will do that if you don't stick blend it, it's kind of like um, titanium dioxide, it always works better if you give it a bit of a stick blend, so do that, just do it. I counted and it was about six seconds. If editing Lee is not being lazy, she'll actually tell you how much, but I know her and she's very lazy. <laughs> She'd be like, I don't have time for this shit. She's got time to write, I don't have time for this shit on the screen, but she doesn't have time to tell you how long I mixed something for. I think we need to talk to her. She's a bit lazy. She's a bit weird. Oh, I think all versions of Lee are a bit weird. <laughs> God, I wish there was more than one of me. I could do so much if I could clone myself. It'd be great. I think it'd scare a lot of people, but it'd be great. <laughs> I think a lot of people would probably tell you that one of me is too many. No, oh dear. And to them I say, eat shit. I do not care any longer. I don't suppose I really ever did. What other people think? I honestly, I think the person whose opinion mattered the most to me, which is really weird because I don't know why, was is my middle son Travis. I don't know why. Now I just think he's just a judgmental pain. And I no longer care what he thinks of me because I am not going to change just because one person thinks less of me than I am. So yeah. Wow. Who knew this soap was going to get so deep and bitchy? <laughs> well, it's got black in it, so that's probably what it is. It's all the blackness in my soul leaking out. I swear. Those black sprinkle, the black flower sprinkles, holy cow, you guys, they are so nice. I kind of don't want to give them to you or sell them to you. I'm not giving them to you. You have to pay for them. <laughs> but they are so nice. I love them so much. I think there's some in store. I don't know if there's any in store as you're watching this. But as I'm making this, there is definitely some in store. And there's still some Halloween stuff left. Um, you know what? Instead of... I'll just get a clean one. Oh, excuse me. All right, last colour. I'm so very happy with this. This has really turned out really nice. All right, I'm going to go, and this is only on five minutes, so I'll just leave it running. I was putting six grams in each of them. Apparently, I didn't, there might be more than 30 grams. Uh, I have some fragrance left, if you're wondering what I'm waffling on about. <laughs> Not very much, but I shouldn't have any fragrance left. You can see the titanium, look at this. Again, just mixing very carefully, not splashing, just just mixing. I had some customers come by the house ooh, yesterday, day before, um, and I told them that I was working on uh, mask and scrunchy sets. Because there's not something I, that I've seen anywhere, and I thought, well, you know, I make a couple of masks, and I, and I don't mind making scrunchies. I make them for myself. I actually have one in my hair now. Um, I thought, well, I'll make them and sell them, and they got so excited. Oh my god, are you going to have them on the website? Oh, well, can you let me know when you have them? Because I'll definitely buy some of those. I'm like, it's so funny how you mention these things to particular people, and they're the people that are interested. And it was also very amusing, because one of them is actually like a costume maker, designer. Like, she, she makes her own patterns and stuff. That's just mind-blowing to me, because I can't make patterns. I... I'm really, really bad with like perception of length and the size of things. I'm really, really bad at that. That's one thing that I that I honestly can say. Well, I'm sure I'm bad at lots of things, like shutting up for one. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I can't. I I can't pattern make 
it's just it's just something that I cannot do. I can make clothes for my own body, but I can't make a pattern that you could you know size to different sizes. It's just no, it's just, I just I don't have it in me. Stick blending again, get the fragrance mixed in, and also to see what the titanium does if it will do anything. There's not a lot of colour shift in that. I think we're going to go just a little bit lighter. Just because I want a, like a more of a minty green than a green green. Once I'm just going to leave that sitting in there. Because I do so many um, sprinkle sheets in a day and I do different colours, I always take my stick blender end out and, and wipe off the residue. And so I'm just going to enjoy not doing that. Although I'm going to make another soap, I think. Because I have a whole big container of um, Halloween coloured sprinkles. And I also want to do a Halloween soap. And not put any of my own sprinkles on it. <laughs> it has occurred to me that I hadn't planned on using them. Okay, so hopefully that black layer is set up enough that this is going to be alright. This is still fairly fluid so it should be alright. I'm not even going to turn that around. I'm just going to just come back with the spatula and again go back again and then just very... I'm just pouring this in really low like I'm almost touching the soap and I'm just just nudging it out. I'm not pushing it out really fast because if I was up from a height and I was pushing it out and it was falling down that it would still dent it even though there's a layer on there. So if you want really straight layers make sure you're really careful and don't do anything from a height <laughs> at all. Oh dear. I may not make straight layers very often I just know how to make them. I just find them rather boring I don't know, there's no artistry to perfectly straight lace. I guess there is actually, like, it, you have to make soap a particular way for the layers to be perfectly flat. Okay, that's it. I don't want to put anything on the top of this at all because it's licorice all sorts and it doesn't have anything on the outside of it. So, wow. That's going to be the most boring thumbnail you've ever seen, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, so let me show you the sprinkles. If you're still here, you get to see the sprinkles. Well, I'll turn them up the right way for you. Is that the right way for you? Look at these. Look at these. We've got little Christmas trees. I've got three different Christmas trees because I wasn't sure which one I liked. Um, that's a Christmas light, although I'm going to try like another, a more traditional site shaped bulb as well. There's a present. I've got two different types of candy canes. A holly leaf. Look at these. Look at these. And a, and a, and a, a boot. A Christmas stocking. Let me just bring these up closer. Because honest to God, these gingerbread men are the cutest little freaking things I have ever made. No, there. Are you going to focus? Look! How cute are they? I wasn't sure which one would work the best. I think I'm probably going to go with this one. Um, I probably will release some Christmas sprinkle sheets to sell. Um, but these were basically more for me to make sprinkles with to sell. So yeah, and that's that. these are my little... Oh god, don't... don't just move you over there. These are the little testers that I make just so that I don't have to print out a whole entire sheet which takes like four hours. These only take half an hour. Okay, but yeah, they're my, they're my little Christmases. I love those. I'm, I don't know which one of those trees I like the best. I like all three of them, to be honest. <laughs> I like all of it. Not a fan of the thin uh, candy cane. I won't make that for myself. I'm going to go with this thicker one because it's more relaxed I guess. This one looks a little uptight. <laughs> so I don't know if that makes no sense does it. <laughs> but yeah, alright. And yeah, all the all the shavings off the um uh the Halloween um sprinkles that I've made I've just chucked into this bowl. Now this bowl is 
probably fuller of sprinkle uh, of shavings than it is of soap batter. So I may actually have to make two soaps because that's a lot. And um, yeah, I was just going to just chuck it in white, see what happened. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do that. So I will see you in a minute for the cutting of that soap, and then I'll see you next time for this. Bye. Hello, just got back from getting my nails done. They're not fancy, they're just... Oh, they've got a cute little thingy me boppers on them. Thingy me boppers. Oh, that's right, they go that way, don't they? So that one's got that. That one's got that. That one's got that. And that one's got, I don't know, something. What's that? What's that? What's that? I don't know, it's not going to focus. <laughs> There's no focusing happening. Oh, there you go. What does it say? Oh, I don't know. Rock and roll, I think. I don't know. I thought you might want to share my excitement of opening this. <gasps> Look straight! It looks... Oh, oh, as soon as I opened those sides, the, the, the licorice just went... <sighs> when I walked in here, it smelled like green apple licorice. <laughs> so I'm worth, I think that green apple and this and a bit of anise in it probably wouldn't go too bad, actually. I don't want to do that other soap though <sighs> which you'll see this first with the soap after it gets released oh no maybe because I want to release the other one uh, close to Halloween so I don't know whether this one will release before or after but I did Halloween soap and it's shit <laughs> it's really shit <laughs> well I think it is I haven't cut it yet I'm cutting it after this one oh I'm just gonna just cut this, I mean just pop this down on the bench because it's flat. It's okay to do that because it seems that it's a little soft. I don't know why it's soft. Oh my god it looks fantastic. That pink is perfect. <gasps> How perfect is that pink? Where's my, where's that photo? It's not the same as in the photo. It's close though. Look at that. Not, not disappointed. It's just very soft. I don't know why it's so soft. Why is it so soft? Who knows? At least it'll be easy to cut, I guess. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, there you go. I managed to make very straight layers. Aren't I good? <sighs> I guess being careful pays off. Do, do I really have to show you every single one of these? They have all lifted a little bit on the side, which is kind of interesting oh it smells really good yeah so I guess I don't need to show you every piece because that would just be silly they are all straight well to through to the end they are yeah yep. that one's got a couple of little there's a little bit wobbly just there but not enough to worry about but it looks great I love it it smells like licorice we're not really getting any of that brown sugar and vanilla at all. At all. <laughs> it's just not happening. And that is okay. That is okay. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> Where the marks from the black are. Because I didn't clean the strings just then. Let me just put this... I don't know which way it goes. It doesn't really matter. You can see the two little... <laughs> the black marks on the top. It didn't drag, it didn't drag through. It just those little marks, which is fine. But yeah, there you go. That's it. That was very exciting. So I'll turn this off because I think this was actually a really long video anyway. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye. Turn off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>